According to pictures from the Gandhi Naga Defense Expo, the Indian Air Force has converted antiquated air-to-air -air missiles into surface-to-air missiles SAM. The Eurasian Times reported that R-27 and R-73 arms of Russian origin have been transformed into the SAMA SAM platform. The image tweeted shows two R-27s mounted on a truck and connected to rail launchers beneath fighter aircraft wings. A pair of R-73s were also shown in the following tweet. A plaque on the truck's turret bore an IAF logo and stated that it was designed and developed by Simran Flotec Industries and Yamazuki Denki Private Limited. R-27 Missile the R-27 is a guided medium-range, air-to-air missile, manufactured by Russian firm Vimpel and Ukrainian firm Artem. And India ordered an unspecified number of these missiles from Ukraine in 2013. The design of R-27 was initiated in April 1962, while the actual production began in 1986. And the weapon was intended for integration on Russian fourth-generation fighters such as the MiG-29, MiG-31, Su-27, Su-30, Su-33, Su-34, Su-35, Su-37 and Yak-141. The missile is currently in service with more than 25 countries across the globe. The missile is designed to strike all types of aircraft, rotorcraft, cruise missiles and unmanned aircraft systems. It can engage airborne targets in any weather conditions during day and night. But according to a report in Forbes, the Ukrainian Air Force's R-27ER was ineffective against Russian Air Force fighters in the war's early days. The ER is equipped with a semi-active radar seeker that works best at or above the missile's maximum range of 96 kilometers. But it is not in the missile, but rather in a passive radar receiver, which requires guidance from the radar of the launching fighter, which is bouncing off radar waves from the target. According to the report, if the launching pilot turns off his radar, or even turns his jet's nose away from the enemy, the missile loses the signal and drifts off target. This requires the launching fighter to close the gap, with the target fighter increasing the likelihood of detection. Furthermore, because it is beaming energy, the fighter would be detected when its radar is turned on. It's like trying to find your enemy in the dark by shining a spotlight on him, except that he can see your light too. R-73 missile is the weapon with which Wing Commander Abhinandan Varthaman brought down Pakistan's F-16 jet. The missiles are already used by the IAF's MiG-21 and MiG-29 fighters. The weapon is designed to engage air targets in dogfight from any direction, day or night, against the Earth background and in a heavy ECM environment. It is used on fighters, bombers and attack aircraft. The high agility of the missile is achieved through the use of a unique combined gas, aerodynamic control system, enabling thrust vectoring. However, according to reports, R-73 would be replaced by Astra, a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, which offers a maximum range of 110 kilometers. The need for Astra missiles became apparent after Pakistan Air Force, F-16 fighter jets intruded into Indian airspace in retaliation for Indian Air Force airstrikes on Balakot. The R-73 is the missile has a range of 40 kilometers, with an 8 kilogram warhead and an all-aspect infrared passive homing head. A retired IAF Jaguar pilot, squadron leader, Vijayinder Thakur, questions the arrangement's effectiveness, citing the country's lack of R-27 production. The opinion on the system's viability remains divided among retired IAF fighter pilots. According to Taco, relying solely on current inventory would be like flogging a dead horse. In any case, it does not appear to be a working system. Making it operational would be a waste of the IAF's budget. Taco explains, even combat capability would be jeopardized because the one shown as part of the SAMA is the variant with an IR Seeker R27ET, which would work like a man portable air defense, man pad, without the easy portability and easy queuing. Missiles equipped with infrared seekers are most effective when they are locked onto the target before firing, he said. Another former MiG 21 pilot stated that 
information about the guidance and tracking radar is unavailable. A SAM's ground radar is only as good as its ground radar, he added. Captain Johnson Chaco, who flew Canberra bombers and the MiG-25, said it was not unusual to convert arms into SAMs. He cited the Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile AM -RAM, of the United States as the missile used in the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. It may be cost-effective to convert such missiles to SAMs. It can be used as a SAM if the acquisition is enabled and the guidance system is operational, Chaco added.